Hi friends, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day so far. Today I want to go over a super cool concept that I recently came across the term of, but I have already been living my life by for many years. So that term today is monk mode monk mode and this is such a cool concept to me it's such a cool term because it's based on obviously buddhism or taoism something that involves monks right which is close to my heart so essentially what that means is hiding yourself away from temptation and focusing on what it is that you want to achieve and spending your uh, time energy attention on manifesting those things so I thought it would be cool to make a video about how as a woman you can achieve monk mode and use it to your success. Women as we know are very very social creatures like even though some of us might be introverted most of us enjoy connecting with others and this is how we express our feminine energy. So one way in which you can really optimize using monk mode is to make sure you take an analysis or you just assess the relationships you have in your life and see if they are relationships that are helping you become a better version of yourself or a worse version of yourself. So for example, say you're dating somebody and it's very draining, you're not very aligned, you don't have a lot in common, but you just kind of stay with them because it's what you've known for a while. Then it's time to really review that and say, hmm, okay, maybe this is not the best way to spend my time and to allow someone to be my companion. Same goes for friends. Some people in our lives might be people who don't actually want us to succeed. They may be people who get a little jealous of us or envious of us or they may see us as maybe inferior or less than and those people it's time to start to distance yourself from them as well another way you can use monk mode is to really really think about what it is you want to improve upon over the next year so for me, what I wanted to focus on last year, all of 2022, was to really connect with my feminine and embrace being soft, being gentle, loving pretty things, you know, enjoying pretty designer luxury things. And thankfully, last winter, I had an opportunity to really connect with that side of life, which I never really have before. And so I just had such a beautiful summer where I just allowed myself to indulge, you know, in things that aren't just for survival, but things that are beautiful and things that make me feel warm and cherished and just so happy, just enjoying the pretty things in life. I spent it also on really learning how to improve my makeup skills, improve my hair do skills. For me, health and fitness has always been something that I'm very confident in as a trainer and as someone who's been working out for like 18 years or whatever. So that's never been an issue for me, but it's more so embracing the upkeep of myself as a woman. That was my goal for this year. And I feel like even in that area, I have made such improvement. So it just takes a few months, you know what I mean? You know the saying, no woman is ever ugly, they're just broke. So if you take some time to invest in either learning a new skill on how to improve your appearance or spending money say at salons like hair salons like nail salons um what are those places called Be beauty salons like for your skin uh facials and all that sort of stuff better skincare products all of those things are going to be a great investment for making you actually feel so much better about yourself because you know you are looking better and of course, I'm not just saying appearance, like outer appearance is the only thing out there. I'm all about inside work, like putting in the work, especially at the gym, to make sure you're maximizing your physical self. But of course, a little bit of upkeep helps as well, right? Another way in which you can use monk mode is to really think about what it is you want to achieve financially. A lot of the time, us women, we don't really get a lot of 
exposure to finances. I know I certainly didn't and I only started investing last year and my ex taught me that. So this entire year I've been learning about stocks. I just read about the stock market, the economy. I read about so many different things that are happening in the world. And this is for self-education and also so you can learn how to better invest your money and create assets that will serve you for way into the future. So any of you who are not like married to a dude with a lot of money, any of you guys who need to take care of yourselves, you might not have a lot of family funds. It's really, really important that you spend a bit of time learning about that entire area and developing your financial health. Another thing you can do is consider creating a new business on the side, seeing what gigs might be open. For me, starting YouTube was one of those endeavors. And I actually love talking on camera so much. So I'm so glad I finally started this. But for you, it might be starting a nail gig, starting lashes, doing some editing on the side drawing like anything just make sure it actually makes money so you're not just investing time into something that is ultimately not gonna have any real returns but go and explore go and see what else is out there because honestly now with the recession we really need to be creative and explore other opportunities so another way in which i would use monk mode is to get really really fine grained on a good set of rituals a set of rituals that you can practice to help ground you and to make you feel reset more centered more balanced for example some of the things i do i'll sometimes put on a meditation track when i'm falling asleep every week at least once i'll take a nice bath and i'll just allow myself to just be you know just to be put some of my crystals beside me and just make sure i take some time literally for myself so if you're a mom and you don't really have that luxury of time maybe there's other ways you can carve that out for yourself if it's possible for you to hire a babysitter or to have your kids be taken care of by your parents or your, your in-laws that would really really make you feel so much better so anyway that should be about it I hope this video has helped you in some way and I hope you feel more inspired to really take action on your goals, even to set some goals first, to look at the, the new year as a huge open canvas and you just get to paint whatever goals you want. You can manifest whatever you want, okay? You are the creator of your life and your future. In a future video, I'll share some of the cool things that I've experienced just because I keep telling myself that reality is up to me and I co-create with the universe. Honestly, reality is crazy and it's crazier than what any of us have been told. We don't have to work a nine to five. We don't have to live according to these rigid rules. You can create your life however you want. And that's what I want to leave with you today. I hope you explore monk mode so you can have a real successful year. And I hope all of us win and elevate. Have a good day.